Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, this is to answer a question uh, that I've seen from time to time. I've had it today in the comments and it was about um, routers and particularly what do you do when you lost your Wi-Fi password. Now unfortunately there's a lot of shady tech guys out there and sometimes when they install hardware they don't give you any details and I always tell everybody um, if a tech guy installs a router, you are entitled to have the passwords and the access to that router, all the information you need. You should not have to pay every time to uh, make a change or anything. It's your device. So um, as a tech guy, I always gave all the information to the client so that they could, by themselves, make modifications if they want. Now... If you lose your Wi-Fi password and have no clue, first things first, who does the router or modem that you connect to, um, you know, who owns it? Is it a, um, you know, device that is not yours, so it's the ISP that just lends you the modem, the router, or maybe you're uh, paying for uh, every month so that you have the device? If that's the case, the first thing to do is call your internet service provider and ask them. They are the ones that will be able to help you in resetting and maybe doing a new password if needed uh, for your Wi-Fi. If the router is yours and you have um, no clue whatsoever what is the Wi-Fi password, uh, one of the first things that you'll want to do is be able to connect at least with a cable to one of the ports of the router. Since you're not connected, you have no access to that router. So to connect, you'll need a cable. You'll need to have the cable to connect on one of the ports to your computer. That will give you access because connected with a cable, you don't need that password. Once you are connected, there are several things you can do. One is to try to access the router itself. Pretty much all the routers today have a internal menu that you can access by entering um, some uh, form of web address of some kind. Today, a lot of routers also have apps that you can download from the manufacturer that take care of all the uh, things that you can manage from the router. So depending on, you know, is it a, a TP link? Is it a D link? Is it, you know, whatever... Uh, model that you have, Linksys and so on, um, go to the manufacturer website. That's the first thing you should do and check out the manual to, of the router itself. Now, when you have a router, you have different things that you can do. And first of all is um, you can check out if you can connect to it via a, a portal that is in the router. What you could do is just right click on your Wi-Fi go into the network and internet settings. And what you want to know is what's the address. Now, sometimes there's a sticker on the router and the sticker gives you all the details of that information. But in the case you don't have it, what you could do is go and check the properties of your connection and see what you're connecting with, what's the IP address of your connection and so on. Um, most routers, you'll have an internal IP. So here you see that my IPv4 address is 192.168. This is a very common address for routers. 192.168.0.1 here, as you see here, DNS server. This is very, very common. And there's variations. Some are .1.1, some are .2.1, but they're, most of them are still in that range. What does that give you as information? It gives you the possibility to do something. You can go into a browser once you're connected and go to 192.168.0.1 and see if you have access to something. And here you see that I have access to my own router. And so I can actually go here and log into my router. And here you have all the information of my connections and so on. So my router is accessible by the browser through that IP address that is in the settings. Now, that's a possibility that you might have. If it doesn't work, because there's another thing here, you've noticed that there's a 
password. There's a username and password. That also can be something you don't have and don't know the information about. So when I went to my router, I actually had the information to enter. So I typed in. You see here, this is the username and there's a password associated to it that I've created myself. Um, in the case where nothing has changed, there is often a default. Um, often the pad, the username for many routers is admin, A D M I N. And in some cases it's admin for the password also, or it could be an empty password. You just put the username, but you put nothing in the password. That is if it has not been changed or doesn't have a default. Look at the stickers that could be on your router itself. You might actually have on that sticker because more and more uh, routers now come with a username and password that is decided and done at the factory because uh, using admin, admin was becoming too dangerous. That sticker might have that information on the router. Now, in the case where none of that is working, you have access or you don't even know to have access, if you have zero access to the router, the other thing you can do is reset the router to its default. Because the default will give you access if you look at the manual for your model of your router. So there will be a little reset hole or a reset button Often it's a little hole. You just, you know, put the, a pointed object in it. Or sometimes, like I said, it's a little button that's um, a little, um, you know, somewhere on the back. Once you reset, what that does is that it actually puts your router to its basic state of when you purchase it for the first time. Which also gives you now the opportunity to reprogram the router to your username or password that you want but that you'll need the manual the instruction manual from the manufacturer online they all have the manufacturer's manual for every model and just follow how to set up your router for the first use and usually you'll get back your access and if you didn't have any information you'll be asked to enter you know, a password and your Wi-Fi password, just note it down on a piece of paper somewhere so that you don't forget it. And you'll possibly have your access back. But once again, router or modem, if it's the ISP, the internet service provider that actually provided that device to you, start by calling them because they will be able to help you with that. And if it's yours or if it's a router that a tech guy maybe sold you, then you can follow these instructions. And if it is because your tech guy doesn't want to give you the password, um, I would tell you to just call the tech guy and say that it is illegal for him to not give you that information and that you absolutely want it and you need it. Um, you should not ever um, have to pay a tech guy just to make modifications because you forgot the information. That information he should have and give you. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.